Nej, jag såg inte så. Maybe somebody's got a word on your heart. Mind the spirit of the Lord. Say some scripture in my mind. We're sitting here uh, praying, and there's a verse of scripture that come to my mind in the fifth chapter of the book of John, if you will. There's one verse, and I'm going to read down to that verse, and you pray tonight. Uh, fifth chapter of John. Very familiar scripture. I listened to all the, the praises tonight and everybody thanking God for saving them and the things that God brought them out of. And I'm truly thankful, Jamie, for what God done for me. And I'm glad that sometimes it seems like that that man is, it's, it's just been a long time. Amen. Since I had to face the things that I had to face when I was lost, it's been a long time. And truly, I am a new creature. I'm not the same person as I used to be. I don't think the same way. Sometimes the flesh takes over and you have to sort of get a grip on things. And you think, you know, sometimes I'll even catch myself, you know, if I was the man I used to be, that this would happen or that would happen. But I thank God that I'm not that person. Every day of my life, I, when I get up, I thank God that I'm not that person, amen. And if you can truly say that tonight, then you're a blessed human being. Amen. That your whole life has changed, and that's what God does. God touches those that ask Him to touch. That God, Those that believe, God changes their life. God gives them new beginnings, new life, a new situation. God puts things together for people. God changes lives. God even puts the pieces back together for people, amen, that can't even be restored, that human beings can't even see it happening, praise God, but God does it, amen. So you pray tonight, there's one verse of scripture, and, and sometimes I, I look around and I see very few people that's really thankful, amen, and I thank God tonight for my, what I've heard. Over in the fifth chapter of the book of John, and we're going to mind the spirit of God tonight, and I want you to listen to what God said. The Bible said in, in the fifth chapter of the book of John, very familiar scripture, and I, and I like preaching on this, but there's one verse that comes to my mind out of this scripture, and I'm going to start with the first verse. The Bible said, amen, in the fifth chapter of the book of John, first verse, he said, after this there was a feast of the Jews, and the Jews went up to Jerusalem. And now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. Now I want you to listen real close to what's being read in this scripture tonight, and I want you to really get into this and listen to what happened in this scripture. The Bible said, In, the, in these lay a great multitude of infinite folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Amen. We see in the Word of God, and praise God, that there's a place there where all manners of things was. A man, infinite folk, lame, halt, praise God, the blind, 
all kinds of physical places, amen, that people couldn't get through, handicaps and the, and the things that was in afflicted people's lives, brother. And they's all waiting on these porches and they's all waiting for the same thing to happen. The move of God, amen. Yeah. There are millions of people in this world, and I don't want to preach on this, but I'm going to hit a lick or two, amen, anyway. Yeah, Praise amen. God, now listen, they was all there, and they all had an infirmity. Nobody was any different. Amen, every infirmity that was in this place was of the flesh, amen. Yeah. Now praise God, there's everybody in this church house tonight has been about somewhere in life, amen, with the flesh. Can I get an amen? amen. There's something in life that God brought you through and brought you out of, and it all had to do with the flesh. Can I get amen. an amen? You see, this is what people don't understand. Praise be unto God. All the things, praise God, is of the flesh. That's the reason Paul said it was a constant warfare between good and evil. He said that that I would do, I find myself not doing. And he said that that I, amen, praise God, that that I wouldn't do. He said I, I find myself doing not me, but that man of flesh. Amen. Hey, old John Paul began to preach and it was a constant warfare. Fire. Amen. Between the flesh and the spirit. Praise God. God. Now listen to me tonight. I, won't, I don't want to preach on that. I've got to go on. Now listen. But every person that was laid in this place, and I believe every person that has ever been born of woman, amen. The old Job even said it. Amen. Man is born of woman in a few days and full of troubles. Amen. Praise God. We've all faced it somewhere in life. Everything that they saw. Amen. Every battle you'll ever have in life will be continually of the flesh. Can I get an amen? amen. Come on. Paul even wanted God to take it away. Yeah. Amen. Paul fit with the same temptations, amen, and everything that you see in life. Paul even said he was better for a man to be as he was. Amen. But he even went on, he said, if a man can't, it's better for him not to touch a woman, but if he couldn't contain himself, it's better for him to marry than to burn. Paul wasn't married, amen. Read the Word of God. He was a bachelor. He didn't have no wife. Praise God. And he said it would be better if he was as he was, but if he couldn't control it, praise God to marry. That's the Word of God, amen. But the Bible began, old Paul had a thorn in the flesh, the Bible said, and the Bible said that the devil came to bust at Paul with that thorn. Hey man, and praise God, he tormented him with it. Praise be unto God that he all come down to the flesh. Hey Amen. All these things that was happening in this in this scripture was on the flesh. Can I get an amen? Now listen, I don't know why this is on my mind. I'm going to preach a little, praise God. Paul asked God, he said, Lord, would you remove it? Just take it away. And God spoke to him straight to his face and he said this, Paul, my grace is sufficient. Amen. There's nothing that you can't overcome through Christ Jesus. Amen. He said in myself, I can do nothing. But through Christ Jesus that strengthens me, He said all things. Not part of it, but praise God, all things can be done. Can I get an amen? amen. Now I'm going to preach a little. I want you to see something. Praise God. Now if you're living for God, you got power. Right. If you're in tune with God and you're living for this book, you got power Amen. to be an overcomer. Amen. you got power, praise God, to overcome the demons of hell, Amen. to tread upon the serpents. The Bible said, praise God, to step on a brother, to walk under foot. Praise God, you've got the power to overcome Amen. if you'll live for Christ. Right. I'm going to preach it. You better pray this minute. I don't even want to preach on that. I've got to go on. It's just coming as it's good. Bless him. I'm going to catch it as it comes by. Bless you pray. Him. Amen? Bless him. I want you to listen to me. There's not a fallible person in this church. God chose every face that's here tonight to be an overcomer. God wants the best for you. Come on! Amen. He wouldn't have chose you if he hadn't wanted the best. God saw some good in you somewhere. Amen. 
said, do you believe that, preacher? The Bible said you've not chosen Him, but He chose you. He looked through all the people of this earth and looked right down in Ash County, Thomas, and chose you. Now don't tell me, praise God, He didn't see something that He could use or something special or something somewhere in life that God Almighty was going to get glory from or He wouldn't have picked you, amen. Can I get an amen? I don't want to make your heart crawl. Praise God, Brother Mitchell, looked out through the nations and chose you. Praise God to be a child of the King. Amen. All these people was laying there waiting for one thing to happen for God to move. I didn't realize it, but I've waited all my life to feel the power of God move. Amen. Do you know those people such in churches all over America tonight that sit there for all their life and have never felt the power of God move? Amen. Huh? Even the children, the little babies can feel the power of God. Yeah, amen. Amen. Yeah. I believe I don't even, you know, I've got to go on, brother. There's a verse I've got to get to you probably just a minute. See, every disease was of the flesh. Amen? And they were sitting there waiting for one thing to happen for the for the Spirit of God to move. Yeah. Let me read on that. Can you see this? Bless you, and he said, For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool, and he troubled the water and they troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Whatever was wrong. God fixed it. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? That's the reason I preach so hard that when God moves and He touches you, do not sit there, amen, but praise God, get up and come to Jesus. Amen. Because praise God, if He don't move on you ever again, you'll never have another choice to get that out of the way. Can I get an amen? amen. When God moves, move, amen. amen. Praise be unto God. I thank God for people that have Amen. Amen. Some it don't take much. Some, praise God, it takes a whole lot. Woo! Bless him. There's something that's coming to me, so pray this to me. You ever rabbit hunted any? Anybody ever rabbit hunted? Amen. Me and my dad used to do that all the time. All the time. We'd go ever, I mean, uh, through Thanksgiving, when rabbit season opened, me and my dad was in the woods. From a little boy to just a while back. He don't get around good anymore. <laughs> me and Keith got to go with us last year one time, didn't we? And I would give anything. If I could just... If they just go and, and I can go back and do the things that I want done with my dad. But we were hunting every day together. I've been there many a time. Through Christmas, I'm talking about every, every holiday we, we rabbit hunt. And some, praise God, you could just turn the dog loose and hit me way out the road and that old rabbit would jump way before you ever got to it. And if we didn't get a rabbit up that and say they're sitting tight today. Yep. And you'd have to step on them. Yep. Okay. They'd be balled up in a clump of grace and you could step on them, but you had to just about kick them out of the grace to get them to move. Ain't that the way people are? Yes, when the Spirit of God's a searching hearts, amen. amen. Some praise God when the world and the glory and just come down the side of the church, some will jump and run. Amen. Come on. And then Son of God has to just walk through and just kick the bushes, amen, to get people to move. And I don't understand that. Yeah, amen. amen. But we're all the flesh. But now listen, I got, I got preached a little. You just hang on. I, I ain't done. And the Bible said, and a certain man, now listen, and a certain man was there which had an infirmity 38 years. He'd been there a long time. Yeah. Now you know what this fella saw in 38 years? 
He laid on the porch of affliction for 38 years. And what he saw was every season that the angel came down, brother, and he troubled the water. He saw somebody that he had sat there with day after day after day get up, step in the pool, get up and walk off and leave him. Can I get an amen? You see, for not one of them, not one of them, ever went back and laid down back on the porch for they had no need of that place. You know why? Because they had been healed. Glory to the Lamb of God. They didn't have to go lay down and wait on it because it had done happen. Oh my God. For the Spirit of God, Amen, had done cost them. They didn't have to wait on it no longer. They had a hold of it. Can I get an amen? That's what makes you special. It's going to get good. I, Lord have mercy. It's about to. Yeah. Woo. yeah. One by one. One by one, he watched them be healed and they got up and walked off. 38 years he watched them. And had a desire. This man had to have a desire. Amen. He had to have a desire. You know why? Because praise God, brother, he saw all these people. Amen. Get right with God and walk off, and it wasn't the same. If they stepped in and they was blind, praise God, they saw. Amen. If they was lame, they walked. If they was deaf, they heard. Amen. 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 Praise be unto God. If they couldn't speak, I believe we went off the same. Can I get it? Do you believe that, preacher? Praise God, I believe it Amen. with all my heart. Whatever they needed, praise God. God supplied that need. I believe it with all my heart. Can I get it? Do you see what I'm preaching? And the Bible said, Amen. And when Jesus saw him, when Jesus saw him, why? And knew that he had been now a long time. In that case, he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? Amen. None of this stuff shakes Jesus up. Amen. You know why? Because he is forgiveness. Because he is the answer. He's the healer. He's the Prince of Peace. He's the Counselor according to the Word of God. He's good for whatever's wrong in your life. Can I get a... Does anybody know what I'm preaching? He is the answer. He didn't shake him how long he'd been there. He knew how long he'd been there. All he wanted to know was did he want out of that case? Can I get a... All, he, all Jesus wanted was to know, said, will thou be made whole? All he's awaiting on is for our people to get their mind made up that they want a new life and Jesus is ready. Can I get a name of glory to God? Bless him, Lord. He said, will thou be made whole? And you know, I know his answer. I said that one night and I was questioned. Said the, said the Bible don't say what he said. I said, yeah, it does. Sure does. I'm fixing to read it to you. Yeah. I don't have to ask you what you answered when Jesus called. Yeah, right. Or you. You know why? Because it's your actions that tell me that you said yes. Come on. Amen. It's your life that tells me that praise God you were hungry for the things of God and you answered the call. Amen. 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 Now I'm going to preach a little. You pray this to me. The Bible said this. All he asked him was, Will thou be made whole? And the Bible said, The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. And Jesus saith unto him, Rise up. Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. Amen. <laughs> it don't matter if anybody got in before you. It don't matter what has happened up to this time. Amen. 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 It don't matter 
anarchy what's went on, praise God, in people's life until today. Amen. Amen. If they want the glory of God and they want to go on for Jesus, praise God, there's forgiveness. Can I get an amen? amen. And praise amen. God when God forgives. This is what He told Peter. He said, praise God, He said, don't let no man call common or unclean That's that right. whence I have cleansed. Amen. amen. Praise be to God. Glory to God, I felt that now. You better look out, praise God. For praise God when the day comes, when they wanted to walk on for Jesus, the power of God will be there and God will deliver. Can't does anybody know what I'm preaching? Praise God, amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. That tells me there's hope, amen, for all humanity. Woo! Amen. Yes. Yeah, I felt that. <coughs> Amen. It don't matter what the excuses are. It don't matter what got them to that place. Right. It don't matter how why they've been there. Right. The only thing that matters this day is if they want to be right. Amen. 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 Mitchell cut Lord have mercy. <coughs> You read one of the verses? What did he say? Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Not maybe, but shall be saved. Can I get an amen? Praise God, those that want it will call on God with an honest heart. That's all God's looking for. It's people that will be honest before God. He even said, I know the intents of your heart. I know your thoughts, amen. And God knows if we're serious. Amen. I believe Joey knew this fellow was ready because of Jesus. Don't just happen, my. Oh, no. Amen. Look out. Oh. The theologians act like it's a coincidence. <coughs> God don't work by coincidence. Yeah. Every word in the Word of God, Tim. Amen. <coughs> Renee, every word in the Word of God where Jesus showed up, whoo, I'm proof. Praise God, there was a need. Amen. And not only was there a need, there was a desire. Woo! Come on, praise God. Right. Not only was there a need, but somebody had a desire for the things of God. Yeah. That's the reason the sun came by. Yeah, it did. Yeah. True. Look at I got lost in there for me. Hmm. More. I, I preach all over the book, tell you for a second. My God, bless him. I get so excited I can't hardly stand it, youngers. But let me read a little. I've got to go on. We'll be here all night. There's a whole lot in this. I could get down deep in this. We could go somewhere. Praise God, let me tell you something. It takes two things to be saved. First of all, you've got to have a desire to be saved. Huh? You've got to be willing to be saved. Come on. That's exactly right. You see, God can't do nothing for you if you're not willing. He does not force Himself, sister. I don't know where anywhere where God knocked somebody's heart out and just filled it up with Himself. You have to open the door yourself and when you let Him in, praise God, heaven will come to you. Can I get an amen? But this old boy had to answer the call. Yeah. He could have stayed, Lord. He could have went back and he could have stayed right where he was at and stayed there, praise God, for 38 more years. Yeah. He didn't have to get right with God. He didn't have to mind the call. He didn't have to listen to the Word of God. And if you listen to this book right here, <laughs> the Bible said it's impossible to please God without faith. And faith without works is dead. Can I get an amen? You see, he could have believed it, but never walked with his bed on his shoulder, and it wouldn't have been faith. Can I get an amen? amen. This was a man that couldn't get in the pool without somebody helping him. Amen. But I want you to listen what happened. <coughs> he told Christ, he said, The Lord. I have no man to help me in the pool. And when the water's troubled, somebody gets in before me. 
<laughs> Why Jesus never even shook. Yeah. Never hesitated. Amen. He never hesitated when he saved Dave Lyles. Amen. Been an alcoholic for a long time. Been a drunk. Been ungodly. Been wicked all his life. And praise God, he never even blinked an eye. Amen. He never even hesitated, Joe. Did you notice this? I want you to see this. He never hesitated. All he said was, Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. Now, this old boy had been lame. Yeah. He didn't buy a check, he couldn't get to the pool. Yeah. Huh? <coughs> and here Jesus said, Just take up your bed and walk. Yeah. 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 Go on, get up. Yeah. Woo, my God. And walk. <coughs> what did he say, preacher? Did he want it? <laughs> yes, sir. And immediately, the man was made whole. Amen. And took up his bed and walked. Whew. And on the same day was the Sabbath. Did you hear what I said? The Bible said immediately. Immediately. The Bible said immediately that man was made whole. And he took up his bed. And not only did he pick it up, but praise God, what did he do, church? He walked. Amen. Praise be unto God. I'm a firm believer. I've preached it for 20 some years, and I'll preach it again tonight. I believe in evidence. Amen. It'll be there. You get right with God, there'll be evidence. Amen. You say you love God, there'll be evidence. Amen. I tell people all the time, make people some mad care. I tell you, I'm not an easy preacher. God didn't send me to make it easy. He sent me to get you ready to meet Him. Amen. He told me to warn the people. And He said, I've set you on the wall, son, to warn the people. A watchman, He said. And He said, when you see the enemy coming, sound the trumpet. Praise God, warn them what's fixing to happen. <coughs> Ain't that what He done over yonder? Lord, have mercy. In the book of Jeremiah, he told them, said you warned the people. And all over in our praise God, he told one of the men of old, he said they wanted the king. Give it to them. He said they want the king, they don't want me, but they want him a king like everybody else. He said, give them a king. Woo! A king. But he said, you tell them what's going to happen when they get that king. Boy, my brain went numb when I said that. <laughs> he said, you tell them they can have it, but you tell them what's going to happen when they get it. Yeah. Amen? Amen? And the old man of God began to tell him, said, you can have your king, but he's going to take your young men and they'll run before his chariots and he'll take your young women and they'll bake in his kitchens. Amen? You can have the things of this world, but He'll consume you. Amen. And you'll have it. It's a penalty, brother. But He said to warn the people, go ahead and tell them what's happening. That's what He said. And then everybody wants to be a preacher. I'm pretty sure them that want to be ain't one. Amen. That's right, brother. That's right, brother. I've done my best to get out of it. When I finally figured out, Carl and I ain't going to get out of it till I leave this world, I decided I'd just go on and preach. Amen? Can I give an amen? Listen, huh? I watched my family suffer, praise God, because I wouldn't preach. I know what I'm talking about. People don't know where I'm at, don't know what I'm, what I'm about. Sister, if they had to face the things that the men of God, the true men of God had to face, praise God, amen, they'd be a praying and quit.
quit talking about it. Amen. Amen. Do you realize that if I don't warn you and tell you the truth, that your blood's going to be on my hands? Amen. And if you die, praise God, God's going to require that on my hands? Woo! I wouldn't want to face God and say I didn't tell you, amen. Now listen, i got to preach, look. i got to get down to this verse. And the Bible said, Amen. And the Jews therefore said unto him, That was cured. It is the Sabbath day. It is not, it is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered and them, He that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. Then asked they him, What man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed, wist not who it was, for Jesus had conveyed himself away, uh, at, oh Lord God, a multitude being in that place, and he said afterward, now listen, afterward, Jesus conveyed himself away, but afterward, the Bible said Jesus, and afterward Jesus findeth him in the temple, and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest the worst thing come unto thee. Are you listening to what I said? <laughs> He said, sin no more, lest the worst thing come unto thee. Amen? I thought about this thing for days. I prayed about a whole lot of things. I've seen God touch people's body. I've seen Him promise God everything in this life. If God will just answer their prayer and do for them what He's asking. And praise God, you know, just as soon as they get a good doctor's report and the cancer is gone, hey man, you know what they do? They go right back to living like hell, brother. Praise God, amen. You know what's worse than that? Hey man, praise God, almost having cancer. You know what's worse than almost having it? Praise God, having cancer. Can I get an amen? You think God's a plan? Hey man, get the right with this thing. Jim people have a hard time staying in this thing. I don't understand. You know what's worse than almost dying? Dying. Dying. Amen to that. You know what's worse than almost losing your baby? Losing your baby. Amen. You know what's worse than your child almost dying? He died. Amen. Now, if you get a hold of something like that, you'd be scared to death. Are you listening to me? Prayed this week for a young man. God answered prayers all over this country. Are you listening to me? Got something to live for, Rob. You know what would be worse than almost losing your children? Losing them. Yeah. You know what would be worse than almost losing the rights to see your babies? Losing all the rights. You know what would be worse than a man almost, praise God, not being able to see him or be their daddy? It'd be worse by far, brother, that you couldn't see him or couldn't that be a part of their life. Can I get an amen? You see, there's a reason to live for God. People can't see what I see. It scares me to death. Get quiet now. Bless you, Lord. Lord. Amen. And you know, most people don't care about anybody else. It's their self that they Bless care about. Lord. Their self. Lord. Lord. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
He said, go sin no more. Unless something worse will come upon you. You know what always scared me the most, sister? If I didn't live for God, that God would touch my children to get my attention. Now my girls has always been daddy's girl. I mean always. Always. I remember Kelsey crushed her fingers one time in school and she would not let the doctors touch her, Nathan, praise God, till I got to the hospital. Would she let? Now I'm talking about a little blonde hair girl throwing a fit. She wasn't letting nobody see her or touch her till her daddy got there. Anything that ever happened in her life, whoever comes and say, hey, say, go get her daddy. Kayla Sturt flew off her saddle one time, pretty good sized young and wasn't she killed. And praise God when she hit the road, cut her head, amen, and it did look bad. They come just as fast as they could to get her daddy. And you know what she said when she got up and the blood was running down her face and the skin all to pieces, amen. You know what's the first thing she said? Somebody go get dad. Yeah, amen. And my greatest fear was, my greatest fear was that I'd have to sit with him in the hospital knowing that it was me. Sister, I've done my best to walk as close as I can to God to protect my children, to protect my wife, Huh? Say so you're crazy, preacher. The Bible said, praise God, you can pray a, her, a hedge around your children. Yeah, exactly. Did you know what God said? Oh, yeah. he, oh my God, you better get It's going to get good. You know what He said that? He said, praise God, you can pray a blessing down on your children. Yeah, amen. Come on! Amen. That's what He said. He said you can pray a blessing on them or a curse and praise God. Which did you rather have? I don't mind to be blessed, praise God. I don't mind to have the good things of God. I want the hands around them and praise God and God and reach down and touch them and they can be anointed with God. Amen. do my best to live for God. you know why? Because whenever we ride horses and everybody's together when we pray before we leave, you know that prayer ain't just a mumbling a bunch of words. Amen. How many times have we read your young and come back safe? Yeah. Every time. Every time. Every time. I'm not talking about that once in a while. I'm talking about every time. Amen. When we ask God, amen, to look down upon us, amen, and watch over the little ones and keep them safe, amen. I've seen a lot of things happen in life, but praise God, I've seen the hand of God move. Can I get an amen, amen? Kelsey's always been just a little nervous. Been a little shy. Been a little afraid of you, kids. Got on an old horse one time, had a crooked nose, had a big dip in its nose, and best old mare it's ever been in this country, died of old age. Talked about every kid in this county, praise God, to ride a horse. That old mare was just, he just put them on and ride off, and then she'd come right on. Kelsey, just a little girl. Her and Kayla, Kayla's always been like me, just wide open and everything she's ever done. And get on the horse it's wide open or nothing that's just the way she rides she can't help you catch kids when she's little you had to watch her she'd be out in the woods somewhere jumping logs and you're trying to go down the road 
I had to keep a check on her all the time. You know I'm telling you the truth. Kelsey was telling you. And they quarreled all the time because Caleb wanted Kelsey to go fast and Kelsey was afraid. So every time we get on, I pray God keep them safe. We used to go with Jack Parsons is over and ride. Every year he'd have a ride. And my girls love it, don't they? <clears throat> we was going through the mountain there. Caleb picked on Kelsey all day. She just a little bitty thing. Wasn't hard to, she wasn't near as big as your younger. That old mare was going up this logging road and all at once, praise God, my horse went to bucket and he's always doing something. <coughs> So I just uh, giving him a hard way to ride, and all at once Kelsey's married run away with her. Mm. Her just screaming for that. And that horse run down the road as fast as it could run, and turn and come back to me. And when she got to me, I got I just grabbed Kelsey. She went by and just got her off. And when she left the saddle, the horse stopped. And we got the yellow jacket's nest and nobody knew it. And that mare stood there with that young and yellow jacket stinging her and stuck to her belly and her legs and I picked the bees off of it. Mm. It was a long way from the trailer, wasn't it? And my baby was scared to death and she sat on the road bank and cried. God didn't let her get hurt. You see things in life happens but God can still take care of it. We sat there a long time, Thomas, and I talked to her and we talked and everybody rode off and left us. And I told her, I said, I'll walk with you. That old mare would stand there and put her head down to Kelsey and I know she's hurting because them <coughs> yellow jackets, boy, they don't feel so good. Uh -huh. After a while, we got back on and we rode off. And before we got back on, she's going to give her horse away. About a mile down the road, she decided she'd sell it. Got almost back to the horse trailer and I asked her what she wanted for it, and she said, My horse ain't for sale. <laughs> <laughs> what if I hadn't been living for God? Yep. Yeah, she could have run her into a tree and killed her. Yep. And God would have been justified. Or she'd have went to glory. You see, I'm blessed. Amen. Amen. I don't want to go back. And he said, the man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus which made him whole. <laughs> he had a testimony, didn't he? Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but that gives me a little more incentive to want to do better. Mm -hmm. To want to live for God. <clears throat> Every one of you is important in my life. Amen. When I pray, I want to know I can pray for you and get through for you. Amen. And I asked God, in case he was born, if I could see my girl growing. And it seems like yesterday, I can still feel the pain in that hospital. And I look at them now, and they're grown, they're young women, and I'm proud of them now. They're mine. 
that God would bless us on it to have two beautiful girls that one day God's going to use them and He's using them now. Amen? And I want them to know how important it is. And if God, one day after a while, if I live long enough and I see grandkids come to my barn, I've got a place to build a swing. Amen. And I may have to have help, but I'll have them riding a horse. Everything that happened in this scripture was physical difficulties. <coughs> the things people face every day. And God don't hesitate. You know what He's looking for? Those that won't out of that situation. We face things every day. Every one of us has got something different in our life that we have to face every day. But we've all got a problem. We've all got a problem that we have to overcome every day. Everybody. I'm not talking about this. And everybody picks out this one thing, but we've all got trouble. Amen. Every one of us. Amen. Every one of us. That's the reason we have to help one another. To stay on the right road. To keep our children safe. Amen. To watch over. And you know what really hurt me one time? And I'm going to tell this and, and then I'll hug Mom and Dad, you can do everything you can. You can, you can, you can do anything in life and, and live as close as you can and things still go wrong. That's right. Amen, Judy? Amen. That's right. This still don't mean God hang out on this thing. Amen. I thought about this thing. Our kids need to test them all. Amen? And if we protect them all their life, they'll never have a testimony. Amen. Come on. We've got to turn loose and let God have it. They'll have a testimony. And when God, I'm not, I'm not saying if God brings them through. Amen? It's not if about it. Amen. It's when God brings them through Amen. and they're said that their testimony will mean something. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Amen? There's a fellow stood in the pulpit, praise God, and, and said something one night that hurt me the worst of anything that's ever been said. <coughs> He said these kids was out here doing this stuff because their mom and dad never took them to church. You can take them to church every day of their life and praise God they're still human and they're still going to make a mistake. He's still a man and in To say that, huh? They're human. Just because you take them to church every day of their life don't mean it. Praise God, they're perfect. Right. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen? You'd like for them to be perfect. Amen? amen. <laughs> yeah. But they're not. They're human. Amen. It's our job, praise God, to instill something in them that when something does happen, praise God, they'll know where to come. So. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I thought about that. And I'm going to give you something, praise God, that'll get you through, and then I'm going to hush. <coughs> when we look at our children, we want them to be perfect. 
I faced this myself and, I, and I, I've got a whole different outlook on life for the things that I've seen. And the best thing you can do mom and dad is never say, I never do that. Yeah. You better off keep your mouth shut and pray, praise God, because you will eat your words. Yeah. How can you throw them away? You love them. Where are they going to go? You love them. God never throws you away. And this is and it's easy. It's a lot easier. Amen. To love and pray for your kids when they make a mistake. Amen. Amen. For when mine makes a mistake, I want to punish them. Come on. That's the instinct to be in a mom and dad. Bless you, Lord. But I told my wife one evening, I said, I've got to answer. I prayed long and hard. My wife's on my mind. I preached it. I said, what would we do if it was somebody else's child? I said, we would love them and we would pray for them. So what are you going to do with your? You've got to love them and pray for them. Walk it in front of them so they'll know where to go when they need it. Amen. Amen. You'll never live your life for them. And this is the worst mistake I know mom and dads make in this world. And I'm going to let you have this and then I'm going to hug. Don't try to be their best friend. Amen. Be their mom and dad. Amen. They've got enough re- friends. They need somebody they can count on. A mom and dad. Amen. 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 I love you. I'm going to hush, praise God. We're going to call for the elders of the church. Brother Nathan, you come on. His brothers asked us to anoint him with oil for a spiritual healing. And I believe God can heal spiritually. Amen. Amen. And I believe God can do anything. Amen. My God, did you feel that? Amen. I, I'm going to say that again. Do you believe that God can do anything? Amen. Amen. Yes. I'm going to ask you again. Do you believe that God can do anything? Amen. Come on. Amen. I'm going to read you some scripture and then we're going to anoint this brother with oil. Praise God. And we're going to trust God because God's got this thing. I believe that with all my heart. And you know what God's looking for? Somebody that wants a healing. Amen. Come on. Try. Somebody that praise God wants to go on for God. Amen. From whoo, look out, I felt that. From this day forward. Mm-hmm. Praise God from this night. For this night till Jesus comes. He's looking for somebody that's looking for an answer. Amen. To restore. Amen. The goodness of God. Amen. And praise God, brother. Praise God to be anointed with God's goodness. Can I get an amen? amen. Now listen. The Bible said, if any among you afflicted, let him pray. If any be, if he, is any married, let him sing, let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him Call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer, now listen, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Can I get an amen? Do you believe that, church? Praise God, now I'm telling you, this ain't just something that's going to be on for a show. I'm talking about God moving tonight. Do you believe it? Praise God. We're going to do things just a little bit. I want you to stand up and get a hold of somebody. <clears throat> Come right around here, Rick. Step back just a little bit. Some of you youngins make a circle and come right around here and get a hold of this brother's hand. I want a chain in this church. 
I want you to spread out and get a hold of somebody. Amen. Don't you break a chain. And I'm going, I'm going to ask you to come together. Believe him tonight. Yeah. Come around here, somebody get a hold of this boy. You two switch hands and get right here in the middle or somebody. Praise God. Spread out. Get you a hold of somebody. Make a circle. Make a circle. Get a hold of it. Everybody, zigzag. Cut them through. It don't make no difference as long as you got somebody's hand. Get a hold of it. It's going to break the chain. Everybody. Split up and get a hold of somebody. Ready? Oh my God. Now I'm going to ask you again. Do you believe? Amen. Do you believe to the saving of the soul? Do you believe the anointing of God? Do you believe God can heal spiritually? Come on. I'm asking you a question. Oh, in the name of Jesus. When we begin to pray, I want everybody in one mind and one accord. Pray on one thing. No doubt but believing. Can I get an amen? In the name of Jesus. Now, brother, he said it's according to your faith. How bad do you want it? I, I'm talking about I, I praise God tonight. I, I ask you tonight in the name of Jesus. Are you willing to praise God? I, I don't give it to all God. I, and to do what God said for you to do. I, in the name of Jesus. I, praise God. Can you believe Him? I, on the high behind of the Lord Jesus. I, hey, Lord God. I, the man said. I, he told him to rise. I, take up your bed and walk. I, and the Bible said he took it up. I, and not only did he take it up, but he walked. Amen. I, praise God in the name of Jesus. Whatever you desire from God tonight, brother, you can have it. Hey, praise God, the only thing hindering you is you. Are you willing to praise God tonight? Praise God if God said to walk, walk. If God saw whatever He said for you to do, do. But don't go back and lay down on the porch of affliction. In the name of Jesus, the main thing is to walk on. From this day forth, in the name of Jesus, praise God you walk on. Thank you, Lord God, for what you've done tonight in the name of Jesus. I praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I praise you tonight in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God in the name of Jesus. Yeah, I praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody feel God move? Hey. Praise God, we might as well just go ahead and have church. You might get you a song. Get you a song, praise God. You know what's been? God's fixing to do something great. Did you know that? Huh? Come on. Can you believe God's going to do something great? Amen. When things even look bad, just keep a trust in you. Say, I know you're able. I know you're able. Praise God, I can't, but I know God can. Can I get an amen? I tell these youngins, I can't get away from riding these horses. I tell these youngins all the time, and I tell these youngins that come to my house, when you put a child on a horse and you go to ride off, I don't care how good a horse you got, you better be prayed up. Amen. Because when you turn it loose and it rides off, you know whose hands it's in. It belongs to God then, brother. Amen. Hey man, you'd said a many a time that your greatest fear was to put this young on a horse and couldn't get to her. Praise God, I'm going to tell you something. Live your life for Jesus. I, hey, God can control that animal. I, I promise you, amen. God will take care of it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I believe that. Yeah. God can anoint it. God can take care of it. And God's going to take care of it. You got a little chocolate horse over in the field, praise God, that God's going to anoint for this baby to ride. Amen. Amen. I don't care if he's a fastest thing, praise God, in Little Horse Creek. And nobody can touch him. You know what I believe tonight? By the authority of God's Word and by the Spirit of God that's coming by tonight, I believe she can. Amen. 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 Say, preacher, amen. I'll tell you what you'll be doing, brother. You'll be looking for your faster horse. <laughs> hey, come on, amen. amen. Praise God, but this baby's going to ride this thing. Amen. 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 Say, I don't believe it, preacher. That's a big word. I believe it. Amen. Amen. I believe it 
with all my heart and you say God can't do it. Let me tell you what God's done for me and then we'll shake hands. <laughs> Brother Keith's standing right there. <coughs> Got a little spotted horse up there in the field at you, bro. Still standing up there. Keith called me one evening and wanted me to come up and shoe that little old horse and praise God he never had shoes on him. Uh -oh. We fit that thing all over the side of the road, even had him out in the hard top. You go to pick his feet up in the front, he'd bite you, paw you. You couldn't touch his back feet, he'd kick you. Me and this little devil I ever tried to shoot. Couldn't do nothing with him, could we? Fit us right out in the hard top, right out in the middle of the road. And all at once, heaven come down that way. Oh, Lord God. Bible said to go out into all the earth and preach the gospel to every living creature. Mm -hmm. what do you hmm. All at once, Mitchell phone my, I've got a witness. He's a standing back here. <laughs> all at once, heaven come down that road. And he just like somebody poured a cold bucket of water on me. Heaven failed. Some old boys are walking down the road, praise God, out of that mountain, and all at once preaching come. And when I come to myself, I was down the road below the horse, amen, preaching the gospel, Brother Herman. Right down the middle of the road, amen. God is so good to me, I couldn't hardly stand it. And I was excited. Paul, I got excited, amen, forgot about him being so mean. Walked up there and put four shoes on him, and he never moved his ear, amen. You know what? I believe God touched him, praise God. Hey, am I telling the truth, Brother King? Shoot as good as anything else. Amen. <laughs> God's in it. You can do anything. Amen. Amen. That's right. Nothing involves the Lord. Amen, Pete. I've seen him do things that, that scare you to death. Trish told me in the barn up there one night, she said, You ain't going to get on that crazy thing. I said, If you'll slow down a minute. God will bless me. I'm going to ride him. The Lord said, ride him. Praise God. He just quit bucking. You see, that's God. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Yeah. And I can tell you one thing, Joe. Praise God. When God says, leave it alone, I won't step up on it. We had one task. And praise God, I told them boys, you better leave it alone. Don't try to get on that thing. I said, God said, leave it alone. You better leave it alone. We fit it, put a saddle on it, Paul, tied it to the gate as close as we could, and they wasn't one up mad enough to even step up on it. Couldn't even get their foot across it. I said, now you better leave it alone. They said, what would you do with that, preacher? I said, I'd trade it off or turn it out and leave it alone. Praise God, that's what I'd do with it. Sell it to somebody. They eat them. Yes, <laughs> That's what they sell them for. Good evening. Amen. They'll eat them. <laughs> Something like that's a whole lot better to eat than it is to ride. <laughs> that sounds cruel, but it ain't. I mean, it ain't it that way. I'm going to hug. Get you a song, praise God, unless I tell you. I love the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.